So this week's how to is how to reconnect with your partner. Um, this was a question I was asked recently and I felt that it was a really good one um, considering what's going on in the world right now and a lot of people are, p are feeling pulled in different directions and their relationships are suffering as a consequence. So now that, well, if you're in Australia, now that restrictions are starting to get lifted and we can get, we can get back to somewhat of a normal, people are starting to look at their relationships through a different lens again and look at what's been going on, what the impact might have been and how we pick up the pieces. So I thought that this was the perfect timing to do how to reconnect with your partner. So my first point is be present. For a lot of people, they've been so caught up running around, busy, hectic, stressed. And when they're in that headspace, they might be physically present with their partner, but emotionally and mentally, they're not. This causes a disconnect, even though you might be laying in bed next to each other or sitting on the couch watching a movie. It's really important that you have a look at your lifestyle and how that impacts your relationship. If you are too stressed and busy to be present and open and connect with your partner, then your relationship will suffer. So it's really good to have a look at the role of stress in your life, how anxious you are. And if you're able to leave that at the door when you come home, or if you can't let go of that headspace, you might need to look at some breathing activities, some relaxation activities, just to teach you how to let go of stress and be more present so you're able to actively be in a relationship with someone else. Now, my next point is it's really important to be vulnerable and raw. It sounds funny if you're in a relationship with someone and you can't be vulnerable and raw, but it tends to happen. Um, if you're living with somebody, you might be living a busy life, your wall tends to go up. Um, it's really important that you take some time to be vulnerable with your partner. It might be discussing fears. It might be discussing fears around your relationship, what's going on, fears about yourself, your own life. It's really important to share these moments, even if sometimes they're a little awkward, because even those awkward conversations and those awkward moments are an opportunity to really reconnect us as a couple. Now, my next point is stop talking about your relationship and actually live it. Now, this is a very bizarre point for someone like me to be making, and it is important to be talking about your relationship at certain times. But what I'm also finding is that when people want to work at their relationships, sometimes they spend so much time talking about it, which sometimes can turn into arguments and conflict and not enough time actually living it and experience it. So you need to find that balance between you know, actually discussing the issues that need to be discussed. It's really important that you find the balance between discussing those issues that need to be discussed, but actually being present. There's our point again about being present, but being present and active in the relationship and actually living it and enjoying it for what it is. Now, my last point is do something together that is fun and celebrates what you do have. If you're looking to reconnect, then often there is no better way than having a bit of fun together, laughing together, doing activities that maybe you used to do in the beginning of your relationship that you both really enjoy together. If you have been stuck in this cycle of talking about your relationship, of feeling disconnected, of arguing, of having conflict, then it's really important to take a moment now to stop and start enjoying it as well. It's a great way to reconnect with somebody when you're able to enjoy the moment, when you're able to have a laugh and remind each other of why you are together and why you first fell in love. So I hope that helps. And if you have an Ask Dr. Nikki or a how-to that you would like to see a video on, make sure you head over to my Facebook page. You can ask me anything and suggest any topics you want. Bye.